hey friends long time no see back for another q a it's kind of an informal q a i wanted to make one even though Hershel's a little sleepy so it's just me so the first thing i want to talk about today is just about letting your tortoise outside to graze for the summer and a follower asked me about parasites and if it's safe i suggest that one or two times a year you should take your tortoise to the vet anyway and when they're there you can get them to have a stool sample test this is just a really easy way to test for parasites. Uh, you literally just drop off a Ziploc bag with their poop in it, and it usually doesn't cost more than $40, $60. So yeah, I don't think parasites are your biggest concern. Um, you do have to check for ticks though. A lot of people don't realize it, but reptiles can get ticks. So I always check Herschel, just kind of like get him to poke out his legs and do your best at looking. I know it's not super easy with tortoises because they tuck themselves in, but uh, it's very important. I think your biggest concern is probably pesticides. So you gotta make sure that if you're taking them outside, it's in a place that hasn't been treated. Obviously, if this is your own lawn, it's not a big deal, but like a lot of people live in apartment complexes. Yeah, so just check that the grass is pesticide free. You could also like take them in a carrier in your car to a local park or a local like wildlife preserve that you know has no pesticides. I think a bigger concern as well is predatory birds. So if you are gonna let them outside, make sure you're standing near them. Um, the best possible thing to do is build an outdoor enclosure, but not everybody's able to do that. And tortoises are surprisingly fast and tricky, so just you want to keep an eye on them. Even if you take your eyes off for a second, not only could they run away, but they'll probably find something poisonous to eat. If your tortoise is anything similar to Herschel, he's going to beeline straight for the thing that's going to kill them. Another follower asks me, why do tortoises bite? Is it self-defense related? It's a few different reasons. Tortoises are actually very territorial. People that don't own tortoises think of them as like these sweet little reptiles, but they can be brutal. And uh, they'll bite to fend off other males, to defend their territories, which are usually pretty big. Unlike uh, desert tortoises that have like one permanent burrow or a few different burrows, a species like a Russian tortoise will just roam around. They have a huge territory. So they can be pretty territorial against other males. And in the mating season, they bite each other as part of the courtship. It's not like a sweet romantic thing with tortoises, like they can bite to draw blood. So we think that Herschel bites us because he loves us, because that's like him saying that he wants to have sex with us. But yeah, no, they do bite for numerous reasons. Uh, Self-defense is one, mating is another. Another follower asked how fast they grow. Different species of tortoises have different growth rates. So like an Aldabra or a Galapagos tortoise or a Sulcata will grow really, really fast. Other species that are smaller, like Russians or Hermans, don't really grow that fast. Unlike human beings that reach a certain age and pretty much stop growing, tortoises grow continuously throughout their whole lives. The growth rate does slow down. Herschel's about to turn four, and I'd say he's the size of like a dessert plate, if that makes sense. Um, and he'll probably double in size. I mean, the males do get smaller than the females in most tortoise species, if not all. But yeah, he will, he will still double in size and then the growth rate will slow, but he'll probably still grow for the rest of his life. That's actually a way that you can tell the age of tortoises is from the rings that are growing on their shell. So I got another question about if tortoises get along with other animals. That's actually a really interesting question. Um, I've seen a lot of videos of tortoises hanging out with dogs, hanging out with cats, sometimes kind of digging into them, sometimes chasing them. I would say for the most part, they're pretty neutral. Herschel gets along with our cat Macy pretty well. Macy looks at him and just thinks that he's like a weird moving rock. And uh, Herschel most of the time isn't that interested in her. Sometimes we'll try to chomp her feet or her tail or her nose um, or chase her around. They do compete for my attention. Like when I'm watching Herschel, Macy will come over and sit on my lap. Um, they compete for spots. Like Herschel loves Macy's cat scratcher. I think for the most part, they're pretty neutral. Again, like mammals are more socially inclined. That's the way that they just evolved to interact with each other. Tortoises do learn from one another in studies. It's been recorded that the ones that are with each other learn better, but they're not social animals. So I would say for the most part, your tortoise will probably get along with whatever other pet you have, but you really do have to be careful. Even a dog or a cat that you trust has wild instincts and can snap at any minute. And I can't tell you how many accounts I've seen of just tortoises that have been mauled by dogs. So yeah, I suggest everything is highly supervised, you know, to leave a screen over the enclosure just to make sure that your other animals can't get to them. The final thing I want to talk about in this little Q&A is carpet germs. I have gotten so many comments from people that say that tortoises shouldn't be allowed out, that there's germs on the carpet that they're going to get. Listen, first of all, 
most of the germs that human beings have, reptiles can get. There's very few sicknesses that you can transfer to a reptile or vice versa. And second of all, they're coming across a lot worse things in nature. The last thing your tortoise has to worry about is whether or not it's going on the carpet and it's gonna pick up carpet germs. There's so many accounts from people who think that they're tortoise experts, but then their tortoises have like terrible pyramiding. Um, and they think that they know what's best and they just like leave comments on my account. Please, please, carpet germs are not a thing. Carpet germs are not a thing. I have never heard of a tortoise getting sick from that. If you really want to worry about a tortoise, focus on respiratory infections, focus on diet, you know, pyramiding. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for this Q&A, friends. I'm sorry Herschel couldn't be here. He's a snoozy boy, but he'll be here next time. Uh, he's starting to wake up now that the season's getting a little bit warmer. I wish you and your tortoises a happy spring.